Hi, I'm Eileen Slatko. I am CEO and founder of DSS Consulting, a training and coaching company that works primarily in financial education and financial literacy. I am also here on the My CPE platform. And so I want to say thank you uh, to My CPE and thank you to all of you who have already been through my courses. I so appreciate you attending, you giving me your feedback, even when it's bad. Uh, it spurs me to be better. And I love the suggestions that you give me about what courses you'd like to see me teach. But I, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about myself. So you know, my background and the expertise that I bring, <clears throat> excuse me, to my CPE courses. Um, started off in school at Marietta College. I was a drama speech and English major. That matters only because I spent a long time in my career early on doing training programs. I used to travel around the country uh, doing training programs for organizations for my own organization. I had a company back then and a number of keynote speeches for a number of different conferences um, and working with companies and doing keynote speeches for their annual meetings. In 1987, I became an, a financial advisor and it was intriguing to me. Um, and so I bring that sense of that experience to my CPE. Um, I tell people all the time when we're talking about tax topics, I'm not coming from an accounting background. I'm coming from a, how do you advise your clients, whether you're a financial planner, financial advisor, CPA, uh, you're in HR, when people have questions for you, how can you help guide them a little bit? So a lot of my programs are really designed to help you and individuals that take the program understand these um, topics that for a lot of people can be quite confusing. I like to think that my superpower, if I have one, and it's not all that super, but if I have any superpower, it's that I have the ability to take confusing topics um, and make them more understandable for people. And so... Uh, I started with a program in 1987 that I wrote called Women and Their Money. And I have continued along those lines in breaking down specific topics, walking people through, helping people look at hopefully all sides of it and building towards a better retirement. Um, and so the courses that I offer on my CPE, whether again, they have to do with the omnibus bill and that was just signed and secure dot two um, act that has to do with retirement uh, or the bill that was signed in um, August of 2022 that brought about a number of tax benefits uh, and encourage green energy and reduced some of the expenses for Medicare recipients, specifically around their uh, medications. All of those things, when I talk about them, they really come down to helping you uh, understand for yourself or for your clients, how to break down what could be confusing for a number of people so that you can either better direct your own retirement and your own choices or help your clients to do the same thing. Uh, along my path as a financial advisor, uh, I began to work with high net worth people. Uh, so I got into a lot of decision making at um, with, with people who had some money could go into a number of different directions. But as I always tell people, you know, the only difference, the primary difference between people with a lot of money and people that don't have a lot of money is people with a lot of money can afford to make uh, mistakes. I can tell you from experience that these topics can be confusing for everyone. It doesn't matter how much money someone has. So I never let that stand in the way when I discuss things. 
But also one of the things that I did as a financial advisor, when uh, the federal government changed its retirement plan, I was actually there and helping to talk to federal employees, learning about helping them choose whether to stay with the CSRS plan or move to the new FERS plan. The FERS plan is what everyone who's been in the government now for many years is on. Uh, it, new employees are on there are still CSRS employees, but FERS has become something of uh, uh, something of my expertise. And I, for the last couple of years, have been talking to a number of different agencies within the federal government as a subcontractor, doing programs for their employees to help them better understand their FERS benefits. If you go onto my catalog of courses, you'll notice that I have a number of FERS courses. So you can pick and choose if you want, if you have those concerns, or if you're dealing with people who have those concerns, there are a number of different topics. You can specifically take one, or you can take the whole course together. Um, I have spoken about a number of um, topics that have to do with, or I try and weave into my topics, how we think about finances, how we think about money, what our past experiences have shaped us and how that, those experiences inform our current decision-making. Uh, and so you'll notice that that runs through a number of the courses that I teach, this whole idea of behavioral finance um, and, and helping you to understand, again, either how you make those decisions or helping you understand how your clients might be viewing these decisions. Case in point, with this very high inflationary period that we hopefully seem to be exiting out of, uh, a number of people will carry um, for a long time, maybe the rest of their lives. The fear that comes from having a fixed income or um, higher expenses than they could afford because they thought the good times would last. And when we had the high inflation, that changed a little bit. So I try and approach things from the standpoint of here's the information, here are the choices that you get to make, um, and here are all the options. I don't ever say here's what you need to do. I don't think that's my job. Um, although I do have people that reach out to me and ask me if I can be a little clearer on for their specific, uh, and I'm happy to do that as well if they have, if you have specific questions. So that's a little bit about me. I will tell you, um, you can see I'm working in my home office. I'm outside of Washington, D.C., and uh, this is where I'm from originally. I was gone for a number of years, but I'm back here in the city that I love. Um, here's a fun fact about me that not too many people know. I think I told you before, I studied drama, speech, and English at Marietta College, uh, and that led me to doing a, having a career that was based a lot in, in speaking and um, doing seminars and programs. I like to think that that was in lieu of my um, absence on the acting stage, although I did do some of that, but here's the fun fact. Uh, sorry, I get distracted. I spent a year being the... Um, Master of Ceremonies for a musical review show, traveled all over the uh, country and all over Western Canada for a year. So much fun. Not many people know I did that. Um, reach out to me if you think you know the name of the organization that I was associated with back in the 70s. There are a couple of hints there. Musical review back in the 70s, really popular then, um, all over the country and a one-year tour. Um, so thank you for taking my programs. Thanks for listening to my rambling. I hope I have shared a little bit more with you about myself, about the expertise and experience that I bring um, to the programs that I offer through my CPE. Please, if you take my classes, please reach out. Give me your feedback. Give me your suggestions for new classes. 
um, just say hi. It's always nice to talk to the people who have taken my programs. Um, let me know how they've helped you if they have. I hope they have. Um, and thanks to my CPE for hosting me. It's a delight to work with all of you. And I look forward to seeing more of all of you at my next programs. Thanks. Bye.